Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is gonna be a timeless pick a card, pick a bone, pick a scrabble, whatever. <laughs> okay, um, today's message is gonna be what miracle is waiting for, for you, excuse me. And also, excuse me, I am feeling under the weather, so if I sound sickly, I is. Okay, if I cough, so be it. Don't judge me. Anyway, so this is going to be a message from Goddess Aizan. Hopefully I'm saying it right. But that's what she looked like. Okay, her number in this Oracle deck is 42. I'll put this right here. And let me read something. Okay, so there's a few messages here, here, here. So Mambo Aizan is the wise Haitian Lawa, which is a Haitian deity, queen of the market, riches, and sacred initiations. Respect her as the highly venerated spirit of the first priestess. All right, so her guidance message says, <clears throat> you are a magnet for miracles. You are a miracle. What if you truly allowed yourself to believe? All things are possible. Dare to dream bigger. Okay. I wasn't gonna read this one, but fuck it, I'll read it. <laughs> you claim you want miracles, but you take an I'll believe it when I see it approach. What if you see it after you believe it? Okay. And then the last message she has is, my life is full of miracles. Okay? So that was her message. Like I said, this is what she looked like in an animated form. <laughs> and her number is 42. So I'm going to separate this into three groups. The first group, you have the Scrabble piece F. Okay? So first group, F. Second group, A. And the third group, you got the blank. Okay? So again, first group, you have F. Second group, A. Third group is the blank. All right? So let's, let's, let's get it started. Oh, I forgot to mention this is boring, but it's probably in the title, so whatever. <laughs> All right. So, I know I haven't done a bone reading on um, my channel in a while, but I feel like I want to start introducing the bones back to my channel. But anyway, one thing with the bones is loud, okay? All of this clanking in this bowl is loud, so if that's like a trigger, I don't know, you might like this. But let's get started. So group one, you have F. Let's see what miracles are waiting for you. We went all around the world. Okay, so you have quite a few that fell off the board that you guys can't see on camera. I'm gonna try to figure out a better way so you can see the full thing, but it's kind of hard to get angles sometimes. Anyway. The miracle that's in store for you. I'm hearing, um, like you're going to change the way you look at money or the way you deal with money. Well, yeah, that kind of does make sense. F for finances, right? <laughs> so that's what I'm feeling. I'm getting the F for finances. Um, but I feel like you're going to... It's like finding a different energetic connection with your money. So probably in the past, you know, you felt like money just doesn't come to you. It's always fleeting. Or you just had this... I don't want to say weird relationship, but like you saw money as negative. And I feel like something's going to happen where 
I don't know, I just heard you're gonna see the value of something. So group one, there's a few things. First, like I said, you're gonna change the way you view money and how you deal with money. But I'm also feeling like you're going to see the value in something. I don't know why I'm hearing some of you got a high price item and you don't even know it. Like this is um this is that that situation where for some of you where um like how do I say like you have something really really valuable like an heirloom or something, right? But you don't see the value in it, but I feel like if you give it away, you will see the, Okay, here's a story, right? Because, what is it? I don't know what it was, but there was this older white woman, right? And she had this African mask, right? I can't remember what, what country it was from. I think it was the Ivory, the Ivory Coast or something like that. She had this mask, right? And she said somebody just gave it to her. And she thought, you know, it's just, it's just another stupid old mask. So she ended up giving it away, like selling it at a garage sale, right? Come to find out that mask was worth millions. So the person she sold it to ended up, you know, seeing how rare and how valuable it was. And they the one that ended up with the money. And of course, you know, she was like, oh, that's so unfair. If I had known it was so much value to it, I would have kept it. He shouldn't have bought it. He should have gave me the full money for it. No, that's not how it works. So I feel like spirit is giving, is going to make you really see the value of something. Like before you get ready to throw it out or out of sight, out of mind type of energy. I, I don't know what you have in your house or in your possession. <laughs> but some of you might even need to get something appraised. I mean, it's a lot of money going on. It's a lot of money, like, specifically, like I said, value, the value of something. Okay? So... Like I said, before you think of something as unusable or just, I don't know. I don't know. But this can also, you know, be something that's not really tangible. Like you understand the value of having good friends. Oh, yeah, I'm hearing that for some of you. The value of a support system. So for some of you, I've... I'm getting the vibe like, you don't like to reach out for help, right? You don't want to feel like a burden. You don't want to feel like, <clears throat> excuse me. You don't want to feel like um, you're putting tasks on someone else, you know? I, I feel, I feel like you're going to have someone who comes in, even if you've known this person before. Okay, let me just finish the story. You're going to have someone who comes in and who is, willing to i want to say finance you but that's not the right way to say it <laughs> um you gotta have someone who's willing to give to you monetarily okay because we got this one over here which is like the bloodstone for me so that's like healing on a soul level like on a, a blood level which is right by support so, yeah, I'm feeling like someone, oh, like I said, even if you have known this person before and for years, right? Let's say you've known this person for years, they was never really, I don't want to say someone you could rely on, but they never really, you know, made themselves super obvious. I just feel like something is going to shift as to where this person is going to be okay with helping you out. Okay with, you know, sending you money every now and again. Oh, you need groceries? Boom. Got it collected. Oh, you need, um, shit, you need some cough medicine? <laughs> there you go. You know? So I feel like, but I feel like you're going to have someone come 
and assist you but i also feel like because this is like a bloodstone this is something that you have to do like you have to be okay with receiving assistance all right some of you probably like mr mr independent you don't need nobody you know you got this tell the people <laughs> Type of energy, I, I feel like spirit is going to, you know, soften you up in a way. Let's grab a piece of this. We have X. So X and 10. Yeah, okay. So this is X, right? And it's on the quadrant of intuition. And I feel like it's flipped over because... I don't know. I just feel like some of you weren't. You allowed. You allowed your. You know your physical problems. This physical world. You know, three D problems to really block your intuition or something. Your yeah. Your higher self is like, go ask someone for help. Be okay, um, being supported. But I feel like you just blocked that out. Because like I said, Miss or Mr. Independent. Alright. So, let's see if we have another throw for you. And then we'll move on. Yeah, I'm in the cards. <laughs> Bones are all the way over there. Anything else for group one? Wowzers, you have all four of my coconut shells. Feminine energies because these black things here, black stripes, oops, are feminine energies. And there's an X. And these are the same bones too. There's a feminine and then the male version. Hmm. So, I mean, it's something about your feminine ancestors or your feminine um, spirit guides. I don't want to know what the answer is. So, it's something about your feminine spirit guides. can't see it but there's this ugly green uh crystal that fell off the board I don't know is is I'm hearing greed like your feminine ancestors want to remove greedy people away from you I don't know so some of you could have been, um, here's the thing. Some of you were so used to being the givers. That's why it was hard for you to receive, right? And that's why Spirit was like, um, you're going to learn to accept support from people or get financial support. Some of you were used to being the givers to greedy people. So I feel like the, the next miracle that's going to be out your way is greedy people be gone. <laughs> okay. Greedy people be gone. There, I don't know why I'm hearing cool blue with this, with this um crystal here. 
and it's on support. So the water, going to the water could be significant for you. But I'm just, I don't know, I'm here greed. Greedy people. I think I'm going to pull an Oracle from my deck. And then I think I'm going to leave this here. So group number one, like I said, you have F. Um, your miracle that's going to come is you being able to actually receive help, especially monetary help. Um, and also the removal of like greedy people that like blood suckers. I don't know. There's someone that was just like on your energy. Cause like I said, that nasty green, uh, crystal it looks like a booger. <laughs> Right, it's something. We pull an oracle and we're gonna close this out. Well, not all the time, but usually it's like representing someone who's sneaky. I don't know. You, you might also have like shapeshifters around you is what I'm hearing. Because I'm hearing reptilian, right? But at the same time, I'm hearing like a shapeshifter. Then we literally have flags, which is like a red flag. And we have the moon, which is darkness. I mean, it's light, but at the same time, the moon comes out in the dark. Like I said, <laughs> yeah, being alert, being weary of threats, survival. That survival where you feel like, I feel like this survival is talking about the first message where you feel like you have to do it all, all on your own. You know, you came into this world by yourself. You're going to leave by yourself type energy. Um, that type of vibe. I feel like Spirit is wanting you to release that so you don't attract so many shapeshifters around you. Because it's like they're feeding off of your, I don't know, your sadness, your... Whatever low vibrational feelings you feel you have, I, I feel like someone is feeding off of that. Like I said, flags, red flag, moon. Yeah. Illuminate. <laughs> Lunatic erratic behavior. So I'm going to leave this here. The miracle that's in store for you. Is some financial assi assistance if you're willing to, you know, drop the independent woman, independent man type of attitude. Okay? All right, so I hope you enjoyed this message. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Okay. Hello, group number two. So you chose A. All right, so let's see what the miracles. I in store for you. Cluttering because there's not a lot that came out just now. There's only one. Well, no, you can't see this other one too. But there's two that you can't really see. 
but this is majority of what just came out for you. So with that being said, group number two, I feel like there's gonna be a, a decluttering, um, removal of excess. I don't know why I'm hearing excess fat. <laughs> Sorry if that's offensive, but that's what I heard. Um, consolidation. I don't, I don't know, I'm just like making things smaller, removing all the extra. So group number two, um, some of you probably felt like you just had a lot going on in your life. You don't know what to focus on or I don't know, someone just kept trying to bring drama to you. Whatever the extra baggage was, I feel like that is what's going to be released. And this, like I said, this um, reading is about miracles. So I, I feel like, <laughs> unfortunately, what I'm hearing is some people are just going to magically disappear from you. And you're probably going, this could also be ghosting. But honestly, that's, this is a miracle. <laughs> so it's, it's not bad. But what I'm hearing is uh, someone or a group, something is just gonna magically disappear from you. You might be looking for it. You might, if it's a person, you might feel sad, like why the hell they ghosted me? Whatever it is, I, I'm feeling like it's gonna be a very bittersweet type of removal. Um. Yeah, because we got this little, this bone here, which I like to call the little asshole. <laughs> and it's right at the top. So, and it's towards the left. So it's like, in the past, you were probably dealing with a lot, a lot of shit, you know, <laughs> a lot on your plate or dealing with a lot of bullshit, you know. But I just feel like, Again, unfortunately, someone is going to ghost you. Or something is just going to, I'm here, relinquish. I don't even use that word often. Someone's going to relinquish something. Or something is going to relinquish itself. Who goes to, um, look, I guess I it's the declutterization, <laughs> that's not a word, but of something. You know, something's gonna even out too, because we have three feminine bones, one, two, three here, and then we have three masculine bones, one bone you can't see if it's off the board, but one, two, off the board there. And then like I said, that one's like a little asshole that was over there. So there's something, and then there's the number two. The two coconut shells. There's something about something's gonna even out. I'm also hearing tone out. Tone out. But anyway, there's something about a balance, right? An equal give and take, an equal whatever the heck. What is that? This is on wisdom here. So wisdom and speech. <laughs> okay, so wise words. Is someone gonna give you some words of advice or? Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Someone's gonna give you some word of advice that's gonna help you. 
Look, if spirit's not gonna take it away on their own, I feel like spirit wants you to be active in removing something from your life. So someone is gonna come in and give you some sort of wise words that's gonna, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, that's gonna help you out. It's gonna be just the thing that you needed to hear. It's like some sort of unknown, not unknown, but like rare advice. Like you, you don't, most people don't talk about this or most people don't talk about, I don't know, but there's something about your situation that you need like advice catered to your situation. You don't need a cliche, you don't need a, you know, I don't know what what's happening. <laughs> But like I said, I do feel like someone is going to come give you some advice. I'm also hearing counselor, teacher. So this is someone who can assist you, guide you through a certain process. Mentor. Some of you could have been looking for a mentor. And I feel like you're going to find that. But like I said, the ultimate um, miracle that I feel for you is the removal of excess baggage. And I feel like you probably been carrying this for, this could be some, some childhood trauma, something. Something you've been carrying for a while. And it's finally gonna be a weight lifted off of your shoulder. All right, so let's, let's see if they have anything else for dolls, is it? Get over here. Okay. Anything else for group two? All right, they're saying to double fist it. <laughs> so I just double fisted it. I don't know if you're gonna get two or something, um, a, a surplus of something. It's like you got enough, because this is a lot more than we had in the first, first throw, right? Hey, no, for real, double fisting it. You know you double fisting a drink. <laughs> you got this, you got your drink and whatever, you got the chaser. But look at this, it's literally two bottle caps. Can you see that? One here, and the next one is here. This is a bottle cap, and they're both um, up. So, with that being said, wait, there's two bottle caps, two butt holes, and two shadows. I don't know why that's looking like the symbol for pie. Three point. Is it 3.14, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know the pie symbol in math, okay? <laughs> so there's gonna be double of something, but in a good way, because like I said, <clears throat> the first thing that the ancestors and spirit guys wanted to do for you was to remove excess baggage. And now I feel like you're going to be replace, replacing uh, what you removed with things you actually like. <laughs> so yeah, because you think about it, like a drink, two drinks and a pie, that's, people usually like those type of things, <laughs> right? So there's something where you're going to um, be able to indulge in some sort of pleasure. This could, I'm also hearing an art form. You're going to be able to indulge in a, I don't know, <laughs> some sort of pleasure or some sort of art form. Maybe you were preventing yourself from indulging because you just don't like to indulge in things. I don't know. You just, you're a buzzkill, a party pooper. Were you a party pooper in your past? <laughs> Ooh. 
this this some sort of enjoyment celebration So we got a butthole on legality and a booty hole on vision. So maybe you weren't enjoying something because either it was taboo or, I don't wanna say it was illegal, but it was something that you just felt like morally wrong probably. I don't know. I don't know why you felt like you couldn't indulge in something. But here, I'm feeling like you're starting to see that it's not so bad. Maybe someone was guilting you. Like that's five. You know, people were guilting you or making you feel like what you were doing was morally wrong. I feel like those people will be removed from your life, like we had in the first girl. And also, this is your time to indulge. It's like you prevented yourself from feeling, feeling good, feeling happy because you were supposed to be one way or you, you were viewed as a certain type of person. So when you're starting or when you're wanting to indulge in something else, it's like, what? People like you don't do things like that. So I feel like you, you might have... Um, internalize some judgments or something. But either way, Spirit is saying that it's now going to be time to indulge in happiness and life's pleasures. Life, that's another thing. I feel like some of you would take a life too seriously. Is that the thing, you know? That's why you were seen as buzz kills or party poop, or you were hanging around the buzz kills and the party poopers, you know? <laughs> so you became what you were hanging around, but once spirit, you know, removes those people, the first miracle, you know, removal of the excess baggage, I feel like you're like, wait a minute. Why did I stop doing this again? Why did I stop liking this again? And it was all because you were around people who just brought down your energy. All right, so let's pull an oracle. And I'm going to close this out. Um, anything else? Put that over there. Anything else, Spirit wants you to know? Oracle for group. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Like I said, you had an A. I didn't see what Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is interesting because I don't know if you want to watch group number one, but group number one got lizard as well. So you may want to watch that. All right. But like I said, um, with the removal of negative energies, this is that lizard, right? Probably text message. Defensive introverted and protected so because some of you were around like such buzz kills like in every form i'm not just talking about party i'm like oh you oh you happy you got a new job well that job ain't gonna last oh oh collected you got this this new car well you better learn how to take care it was just someone just wanted to suck the joy out of your life if this wasn't someone else, then this was you feeling like you can't enjoy life. I'm hearing dry. Like a lizard skin, dry. Well, not all lizards are dry, but you know what I mean. Like some, like, you know, your life is dry and boring. <laughs> like that's what I, I feel like, you know, the trajectory was going. But now when these people are removed, it's like, okay, you got you got fun collected back. All right. So I feel like the people who really rock with you are gonna be like, okay, yes, finally we got we got the fun side of you back. 
Oh, you stopped hanging out with so-and-so? Yes, they was a buzzkill. I'm going to just leave that there. Okay. Like I said, the first miracle for you, group number two, is the removal of extra baggage. And the second miracle for you is just enjoying life. Like, like I said, double fisting it, you know? <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this message. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to book a personal, all oh, that's down below. Bye. All right, group three. You have the blank. All right. Blankety, blankety, blank. What miracles are waiting for you? I love it. I lo love you, love you, love you. You know, pinky doll. Love you, love you, love you. I don't know why I'm here or not. Okay. Love you, love you. <laughs> There's this skit, right? Is it SNL? Yeah, Saturday Night Live. I don't, I don't remember the actress's name. <laughs> like I love it I love it I love it and every time she says it she'll do this weird ass pose <laughs> what the hell group number three I don't know y'all y'all only group that had me cracking up like this what's going on so let's see y'all la, 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 la. let's see group number three what miracles are in for you Lucky number seven, you can't see it, but we do, let me, damn it, because I don't really like messing up the placement <laughs> of, the, of the, the throw, but we have dice that's over there, right? One is on three, one is on four. Okay, now I'm hearing lucky number seven. So seven. Represents continuity. Oh, uh -huh. I'm hearing like a continuous love of something. This could be a person, you know, but I'm also getting like love, a continuous love for like an art form or it's a, some sort of passion. So some of you, like your love for something could have felt like it was running dry and I feel like Spirit's going to replenish like your passion, replenish your drive, get you motivated again. Something is going to get you motivated again. It's going to be that boost you needed, that fire under your booty that you needed, you know? Speaking of that, we only have two feminine bones. Well, three, excuse me. In comparison to the rest. So this is like definitely using mind over matter type energy. What is this? Why? So the why is flipped over and why is on the quadrant of generosity. So... Some of you in the past could have been feeling like, why aren't people paying attention to me or my project? Why am I always getting discredited? Why am I, um, why something just wasn't popping off the way it should have? Right? So I feel like in the past, you were questioning that a lot. But the miracle that's going to come for you is like, you're going to figure out, I don't want to say what you did wrong, but you're going to be able to implement something new, something that you didn't think of in the past. And it's going to be able to assist you with not only finding your motivation again, but also being able to continue with what you're working on or continue that passion that, 
or drive that you had before. I really hate how I sound when I'm sick. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, but anyway. I don't know why I'm hearing something about your shoulder blade. It's really random. Something about a shoulder blade. What the hell's the significance of that? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, do, do some of you have like... Okay, okay, what I'm hearing is with the shoulder blade, right? Is you know how some people be like, oh, I can tell if that person is confident or not by the way they walk, you know? So if, if usually if someone's not really confident, they're feeling low, down, or whatever negative low vibrational energies they're feeling, they're usually like slumped over. But I feel like you, there's, there's something about your posture, how you carry yourself, like literally how you walk is going to reek of confidence. And I'm looking at this one here, when I'm talking about the shoulder blade. Can you even see it, damn it? No, you can't, okay, whatever. I'm talking about this one. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. But, um, I'm also hearing sculpting. There's gonna be an opportunity to sculpt something with no interruption. Love you, love you, love you. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like you are going to just be able to fully live and love what you do. Going back to uh, the shoulder blade thing, right? Like I said, it's like something about you is going to ooze. Ah! Hold on. Oops, sorry, I was getting a phone call. Um, but like I said, something about you is going to ooze confidence, even if you don't feel it, right? I feel like someone is gonna be like, oh my God, you look so confident. Oh my God, I love what you do. <laughs> it's like someone is gonna be compliment. I don't know, that could be part of the miracle, right? In order for you to get that boost that you need, it's like someone is going to give you like the best compliment. And not know, oh, I just like it. Like, no, they're, they're gonna go in depth about what they like. So that could be something that boosts your, um, your motivation again, right? So yeah, we're gonna see. And we did have, well, before I scooped it up, we did have a little piece. This here represents the ancestors for me. And it was on seven, which is continuity. So again, it's like your ancestors are gonna send someone for support or send someone to say the right thing to get you going, okay? That one's all the way over there. Okay. Do one more throw for you. Anything else for unless you no, no, for you. So, there's something about your surroundings. This could be a change of location, change of scenery, or you're gonna be introduced to somewhere new. 
I don't really feel like it's a person. I mean, yeah, it could be a person, but I feel like it's a place or a site. Something. You're going to go somewhere new. So that this could be moving. This could be, I don't know, you going to a different club you've never been in. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it is, it's going to be a place that you're unfamiliar with. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like it's going to, something in there is going to like catch your eye or have you thinking about something. It's like, if this place operates like this, then maybe I should implement this into what I'm doing. I don't know. It's like you're going to, like I said, I'm really getting the feeling that you're going to go somewhere different, somewhere you've never been before. And something in that vicinity, area, place, whatever, is going to like enlighten you in some way. So the second miracle will be the removal of, not really removal, but it will be the opportunity to see something new, see something you've never seen before. So again, that could be travel, where it's long distance, or it could be um, you know, a short distance. It could be in your city. Like I said, it could be a club. Here, some of you could actually join a club. Join a club of like-minded creatives. Because this one here is on 10 and 13, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, which is um, intuition and speech. I'm feeling like some of you could actually join a club. It's something about something new, okay? Someplace new, or you're going to join a club of like-minded um, individuals, creatives, really. And it's like you're going to be able to bounce off, each, off of each other. Okay? So... Anything else? So like I said, the first um, miracle that's to come for you is like some source of motivation, some source of I don't know, like a spice, spicing up your life. I don't know how. All right. And also for some of you, you're going to have the opportunity to go somewhere new. But some of you, you probably were even like rejected from this place before. Now they want you. I don't know. Need to discern with that. But let's pull Oracle and then close this out. Keep up, gay. Yeah, pig and machete. So pigs are like, I know a lot of people see them as dirty and just bleh, right? <laughs> but pigs are pretty intelligent and they're misunderstood, right? So I feel like either your intelligence was misunderstood, or your creativity was misunderstood, something about what you do, think, feel, act, how, whatever, was misunderstood. Right? And with machete, this is like you cutting away, because machete is big as hell, right? This is like you cutting away, you know, all that extra bush. <laughs> all that extra junk that you don't need. I feel like you're going to be able to cut those energies out of your life. But also, like I said, you're cutting it out so that you can... I don't want to say replace it with something else, but also, 
What's the word I'm looking for, child? I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> but, um, we have hard labor, anchor, and then. Was that you? I said that too. The show me play thing. It's like cutting away just unwanted opinions, unwanted um, energies. So that you can continue to focus on something that you actually enjoy. All right. So I think I'm going to leave this here. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> and you want to book a personal, all that is down below. Bye.